case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The Supreme Court of Texas had a landmark hearing in Re Lee in 2013 that revolved around the notion that a court is bound to accept a properly executed mediated settlement agreement, MSA, even if it appears not to work in the best interest of the child involved. There is, however, an exception in instances of family violence. The case involved Stephanie Lee and Benjamin Reedus, who are parents and joint managing conservators of their child. The dispute arose when Benjamin made an appeal to modify the custody order claiming Stephanie's behavior, including allegedly letting their child spend time near her husband, a registered sex offender, was putting their child in harm's way. The central aspect under the court's microscope was whether a trial court could refuse a motion to enter judgment on an MSA, which met specific legislative requirements, by considering whether the agreement was in the best interest of the child. Rising above the dispute between Stephanie and Benjamin, the court concluded that a trial court does not have the jurisdiction to reject a well-crafted MSA solely based on a perceived child's best interest. Emphasizing the need to comply with Section 153.0071 of the Texas Family Code, the court asserted that an MSA, once accepted, is binding, and trial courts should defer to parties' decisions regarding their children's welfare unless there's an occurrence of family violence. In conclusion, the Supreme Court of Texas determined that the trial court had committed an error by denying the motion to enter judgment on the MSA. The orders were directed to be withdrawn, and the case was set for further trial. This finding underlined the consideration that the parents' decisions for their children's best interests must prevail as long as they align with the legal requirements of a settlement agreement. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.